little noise, which is the only way I can explain it. So you know that it's So done. you know you push it all the way in, because the most common question I get the first time is, did I put it all in there? You know, because yeah. you, you can't really tell. So you'll hear that little noise, and then you'll know, okay, I put everything in there that needs to go in. There. Okay. Okay. So now we're all nicely loaded and ready to rock and roll, <laughs> but we're going to talk about where we're going to do this on your leg. Okay. Okay. So the reason we picked the leg is that this is the largest muscle. So you have this big thigh muscle right here, right? And I can't even think of what it's actually called right now. So I would kind of split it up in quadrants, okay? So this is the top and this is the bottom. So here's my knee right here, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And so, and then there's kind of a middle thing running right here. Mm -hmm. So these two squares right here mm -hmm. are probably the ones that you would mm -hmm. um, inject into. So, mm -hmm. so like right here to right here mm -hmm. is how long, mm -hmm. and then probably about this wide, and then you have an invisible line. Uh. So the middle of the line, is, let's say it's here, you're going to inject just a little bit in. Mm. Um, it's just the best place to go. Even though the, I feel more like there's more muscle like right Yeah. Um, so you'll probably have less bruising if you do it here. If you're uh. only doing it every two weeks, you're going to switch sides switch back and forth. So once a month, I'll do it. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, sometimes people who get lots of shots, all the time. Um, like I said, this guy got morphine like three times a week. Eventually, this was nothing but scar tissue, and we couldn't inject him there anymore. But that's years and years and years. It's un and probably four or five times a week versus you're only going to do it twice, twice a month. Um, so that's okay. not going to be a concern for you as far as, you know, do I need to worry about, you know, later I maybe can't use this area. So um, the middle of the line, sort of a little bit in. Okay. So um, you're probably going to get bruises. I don't think it's really, um, I mean, there may be sometimes that you only get a small bruise, but you're going to bruise because you're doing something weird to your body and mm -hmm. you're not really used to it. Totally. Um, if you find your spot, put your needle in, and you start to uh, insert the medication, if you felt anything stinging or burning, that would be a sign that you're not really in the muscle. This will be well accepted by your muscle, but if you went, like way over here, and put it where there's no muscle to absorb it, you'll feel it right away. You'll know that it's something's up. Like, oh, yeah, and you could just pull the needle out, and, and then you could just start over. Replace the needle, take a deep breath, okay. figure it out again. I don't think that's really probably going to happen for you, but just to throw it out there. Good to know. Yeah. Um, so, like we talked about, this is not really a great option because this muscle tends, you know, this deltoid right here tends to be kind of small. This back here doesn't really give you a lot of, I mean, you're thin a dime, so it would probably be a little easier for you, but you really can't see what you're doing back there. Yeah. Um, if she were to inject you, you guys might choose to do that. Uh -huh. So, you I would feel that. around for that, mus that muscle back there. So, see, I did. Yes. Um, so, we've pretty much reached the point now where would you inject that medication? Okay, so I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. Is it, do you have any um, knowledge of symptoms? Like, will I want to throw up after this? Or? Um, just with cure relief, maybe, but, but it's over. No. I won't really feel anything. I haven't. The only thing I've ever seen or heard was somebody who maybe um, gets skin irritation from it. Okay, um, but I won't feel. I don't think you'll feel anything. You may feel when you get done. I mean, your adrenaline's kind of going right now because uh -huh. you're really nervous about doing this. So you may feel a little weird because, right. you know, when that stops yeah. happening, you're going to make right. me feel a little, you know, but I, I've i never had anything uh, throw up or anything. Okay. Never, it ever. feel wonderful. It, you know, I, I think you'll be surprised that you probably won't feel it much at all. Good. That's great. So you are probably going to want to pull your pants down so we can get to your thigh. And I'll just block this so we don't have an unexplained visitor at any point. And then let's talk about, this is weird, <laughs> left and right. You could do, what, what, where do you think you'd want to go? Gosh, I don't know. Let's use this one because it's closer to me. Okay. So how okay. Are you, show me how you're going to find your landmark. Well, yeah. mm -hmm. right about there. I think that's, that's, that's kind of where you're poking anyway. You, you probably could go just, a, just you might, because you're, you're thinner than I am, so you probably have a little bit less. So, you know, right here or here. Now, you don't want to have a vein, right? You really well, can't. Really can't. No. Okay. And veins um, are really small. Arteries 
is what you would be concerned about. And you would probably have to inject something 10 times as big in order to hurt yourself. So I'm not. And you don't have any arteries right there, so. I'm fine. You're fine. I can just chill. Now, here's the other thing. Like, when we were kids, um, I don't think you did that in the video. Um, when we were kids, before you got shots, you would they would always clean off your skin with alcohol. Yes. Totally outdated now. They realize that actually you probably take off more of the good stuff than you do. Ah. If you were camping or something, you hadn't showered in a few days, you know, you might clean it off with alcohol. Okay. But in this setting, I don't think it's necessary. And it can make it sting a little bit more when you put the needle in if there's nice. alcohol on top. No alcohol then. Yeah. So, Unless you're camping. How, before we do this, tell me the steps you're going to take to do it, because you didn't know there'd be a pop quiz, but, so what, okay. do you, what are you going to do? You're going to find your area that you want to inject. Yep. You're going to um, think a moment about relaxing that muscle as much as this environment makes that possible. Okay, I can do that. And then you're going to take the lid off. Mm -hmm. You can, actually, let's bend this back just a smidge so it's just not in your way. There you go. Um, Okay. You're going to push the needle in. Mm -hmm. How far? You could put it in all the way if you want to. What? You don't have to. Sure. You could probably just put it halfway in. I think okay. that's fine. Okay. okay. So you're going to um, insert it. Okay. Then you'll be like, oh my god, I can't believe I got this far. And then you're going to push the plunger down. Okay. You're going to hear that little weird noise I told you about. And then you could pull out the needle. So when I push it down, can I go slowly? Should I you go could. Slowly? I probably would just. Yeah. It, well, it isn't going to do you any good to do it slower, and I think once it's over, you're like, oh, okay. Got it. Some relief involved. Uh-oh. Yeah. That's okay. Holy crap. No, it's not fine. Because that doesn't screw on, um, yeah. you know, you can pull it right off. So you can cut, yeah, you can hold it there and pull that off. You can put your fingers around that end there. It's, like I said, it's all your own juices, so we're not super concerned about what. There's a little bit in here, is that okay? Yes. Yeah. There's actually like quite a lot at the end there. Um, nope. So they're fine. Yeah, whatever's in there can just be in there. Oh, sorry. So get your bubble up there. Perfect. Bubble. Okay. Okay. Take a couple deep breaths because we're getting closer. And before you stick it in, you want to think about letting that muscle get relaxed. People are a lot less sore later. Yeah. Yeah. While I'm instructing you. And, I like you it. know, we're taking your movie and the whole thing. <laughs> so show me with your finger where you're going to put that needle. <laughs> um, I think yeah. that's a perfect spot. You do. Yeah. Okay. Right in here. Mm -hmm. Just right here? Yeah. Absolutely. Um, just stick it in there. Yeah. <laughs> stick it right in there. <laughs> This is weird. I know. But it'll never be this weird ever again. Mm -hmm. Okay. So one, two, so just like this? three, go. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I'm getting there. Just no, I know you are. I know you are. I have no worries at all. Right there. Boom. Bing, bang, boom. I'm afraid I won't do it hard enough. Um, I wouldn't do the jabbing. I would just... Set it on top of your leg and then just push it in. Oh, okay. Got it. There you go. You can go faster than that. How are we? Oh, it's not hard. It's not so hard. Okay, keep going. You're okay. 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 A little bit farther. Okay. A little bit farther. Okay. I just want to make sure it gets in your mouth. Okay, perfect. So go ahead and inject the testosterone. If it goes in a little farther, that's okay. Uh oh. Coming out on the outside here. It's all right. You're all right. You're going to get plenty. Are you pushing the plunger in? Mm -hmm. I'm getting it. Thank you. It's, you're gone. Is it really hard to push it through? Mm -mm. Okay. Yeah. Can I pull it back out? Yep. Dude, you just gave yourself a shot. I know. It will never ever be this hard again. Yeah, that was that was okay. I just that what I was worried about. I was worried about it like coming out so fast that it would.
come out. Yeah. So I just yeah. wanted to go somewhere like that. Yeah. And that's fine. Be, it's your leg. You do it as you like to do it. And you want to toss that in there. The one, uh, so this is a hormone. So the same way I would tell people don't throw your diabetic medication in the toilet or bury it outside, this needs to be properly disposed of as well. So anything that's left in the syringe needs to go because, you know, they're finding all these hormones in our water and stuff. So that's Can a I personal, it? yeah, a personal worry of my own. Should you I prefer? put a little thing on here? Or? I wouldn't. You don't want it to come back out. It won't. Okay. <laughs> Which I know sounds weird. 